It's really very warm today, uh, so I'm glad I've found a shady space. Uh, but I thought today uh, to celebrate uh, my book, The Seasoned Gardener, uh, now being officially published in America, uh, I would read you a short passage um, so you get a feel for some of the things I write about. Now, most of all, uh, this is about uh, gardening and my relationship with nature. And here we go, is a short passage on my relationship uh, with one particular part of nature. It's called Checking on Bees. Although we've had beehives on our homestead for five years, I'm not entirely comfortable tending to them. Actually, quite the opposite. But I want to be, I want to be able to tend to the hives to ensure we have he healthy, happy colonies of bees. However, until I reach that stage, we have Andy the bees to care for our apiary. And so it was over a warm Easter weekend that Andy visited our home to inspect the bees for the first time since autumn. I busied myself with other tasks and then wandered up the hill, this hill, uh, to see how he was getting on. They're a bit feisty today, he said. They weren't very happy having the lid taken off. And with that, one of the bees expressed its dissatisfaction with life by flying at me. I'm sure if I could have seen its little bee face, it would have been scowling. But the first thing that I knew about it was when I heard the, the buzzing very close to my ear. The buzzing got louder and I shouted to Andy, come help get the bee off me. And there was my big mistake. Andy walked quickly towards me, bringing with him a several pretty grumpy bees flying around the helmet of his bee suit. They quickly abandoned Andy to help rescue the bee stuck in my hair. So then I had one in my hair and several bees circling me and bumping me, which is kind of a warning sign. Stand still, Andy calmly said. I can't, was my reply as I ran off down the hill, raking my fingers through my hair and flapping my arms around like a windmill in a hurricane. <laughs> to say I was scared was an understatement. My hesitancy with beekeeping has stemmed from having had a bee stuck in my hair many years ago. It was loud and it was unpleasant. I'm sure the bee was frightened too, but I was left mildly traumatised by the incident. Anyway, I ran down the hill, heading for the wildlife pond, bees still circling me. On reaching the pond, I dropped to my knees and without hesitation, dunked my head into the cold, slightly slimy pond water. It took several dunkings on each side to extract the bee that was stuck in my hair. And with the loud buzzing gone, I could do a super fast assessment of the situation. I'd been stung on the finger and there was a bee inside my long sleeve t-shirt. So that came off pretty quickly. I brushed the bee out of my bra and I shook my t-shirt to try and remove uh, any other bees before putting it back on. I didn't notice that I'd been stung twice under my bra strap. I guess the bee got stuck there and panicked. Shaking, I phoned Mr. J at the house and just shouted, antihistamines. I didn't need to say anymore. He knew I was in trouble of some kind. By the time he grabbed the tablets and got outside, I was on my way back to the house in the throes of a minor panic attack, hair soaking wet and probably slightly smelly. And I was talking gibberish at him. In the security of the house, I removed my t-shirt again and a dead bee fell onto the floor and another into the washing up bowl. I headed upstairs to wash my hair in case there were any other little bees stuck in it. Meanwhile, Andy, seeing that I was running away and flapping like an albatross trying to take off, headed back up to the hives to close the open one and gather his things to come and help. He later told me that he'd seen me run to the pond and dropped on my knees and enter it head first. He had visions that he would come down the hill to find my feet just sticking out of the pond as I tried to escape the bees. Lesson learnt from this incident. Don't go near the bees when Andy is tending to the hives unless I'm wearing my protective beekeeping suit. And I haven't been stung by a bee before, so I didn't know how I was going to react. But thankfully, I'm not allergic to them. What a relief. Throughout the rest of the book, you can find other stories uh, together with hints and tips on harvesting and gardening, as well as lots of observations about our relationships with nature.